I know nobody's on right now, but I'm just going to go ahead and share the video. Oops, so I just want to share and then everybody will know that I got my serger. So I just wanted to do an unboxing for fun because I was excited to show you guys all right there we go hello so oh yeah I can see you guys chatting over here hello Vicky um, I'm a little cro crooked right now which is probably annoying but this is my backdrop I'm a photographer so, um, <laughs> photography is not a thing right now because of COVID. So I'm reading you here on my laptop and of course you are right here on my phone. So hello. And it's so funny because uh, if you have been following this, I ordered it from Costco and then um, it was coming on the 15th and I waited all day and then it didn't come and then like at 10 o'clock at night it updated and said it wasn't gonna come until the 16th and I'm like no kidding and then it said it was being held and I was like oh no for how long and then I checked today and it said that it was gonna be sent on the 20th but it happened to just come today so this is the machine that I picked which is the brother 655d 655 D um, it's so funny because I can't really find this machine anywhere other than Costco. So I know a lot of people have the, I think it's a 1034 and everybody loves that. So I'm hoping that it's similar. I know there's just some of the buttons are different, but I haven't opened it other than cracked the box. So yeah, I'm gonna just see what it's all about. So of course, the first thing is the manual, which I will be studying because, you know, at any other sewing machine that I would get, I wouldn't, well, I would look at the manual a little bit, but um, I don't have much experience. Operation manual in English and in French and then a CD. That's so funny. I guess most things don't come with CDs anymore. <laughs> and then stop. Heavy compared to the one for my sewing machine. I have a brother 75 CP 7500. So, comparing the two feet, this one's a little bit seems a little heavier. Maybe it's the cord. So, it is a gray foot or what is a pedal? I don't have any experience with the genome. I think that's what it's called. And this thing is really, really beefy looking. So that's cool. Okay. Okay. All right. There's a handle on it, kind of. built-in little lip here that you put your hand under like my um, sewing machine has a handle that would lift up but this one is like it's built really in. okay there we go oh my goodness oh it's prettier than I thought in the picture it has bright red adjusters and these ones are like it's actually like a burgundy which is way nicer with a lot of oh my goodness oh, <laughs> that was the styrofoam oh my 
my goodness, isn't it so beautiful? Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm gonna see if I can get, this is $6.55. I'm gonna see if I can get a closer vantage so you guys can see better. Hopefully, right here. Eep, there you go. Okay. See, I was I saw the the free arm on the the ten thirty four. It looked really nice, but I was like, oh, it's gonna have the same one. I don't know. So I don't want to break it. <laughs> okay. So I'll show you guys. And we have this. It goes up and good thing I got some thread because they don't give you nothing. Not even like a little test spool. They give you they give you this. Oh yes, very nice. As if I didn't already know there was gonna be thread there. <laughs> so it seems small though, like I don't know. So this is a three and a four. So here you, uh, oh, it's a piece of tape there. I like a fridge. Oh. I get that, oh my goodness. I think it's pretty similar to the 1034. No, I think, I mean, I've seen people um, also, like, they would tie their new thread onto the end of the thread and then just pull it through and then maybe it would uh, re, like, thread itself again. But, yeah, I'll definitely need to study the threading um, before I, but there's, like, a dial here, which is on 5R. Um, with the 1034, I saw that on this side there was the dials and things, but there doesn't seem to be anything here. Oh, this is the tape. And then that's the. Okay. So that is. Sleeves or. And again, I don't want to break anything! On and off. I'm like treating this like it's my child. What is this? Thing? Oh, you go up. I wanted to press it down. Uh, sometimes that's time to the old thread works when Juki came with a DVD that showed very carefully how to thread it. It was very nice. Yeah, I got the DVD. So I might check that out. But yeah, I'll look at the little um... Oh, it's so pretty. I want to make some clothes for my kids. If I can, but I'm going to look at the little bag of Stuff. And I, I, I'm like, I'm not a lover of raw edges, so whenever, if I try to make it out of, you know, with my sewing machine, with jersey or whatever, it just drives me nuts. But the edges are not nice and neat. So, these are for the spools. I got these spools from Walmart. They're only 5,500 meters. So, but it'll do for, you know, playing around and stuff. And of course I went to get, they ha of course they didn't have white. And they only have three black. So I got the four navy. Yeah, hopefully I will too. I don't know. It's been so long since I've used a serger. And then these little mesh guys, which I'm assuming would be put around your spools. Let's try it. Oh my God. <laughs> Isn't that the little things in life? They're so amusing. <gasps> Yay! 
So we have, I don't even, oh, it's a little Allen key. That's cute. So I have these for the spools. I'm assuming these things are for the spools. Oh, we got some needles. 130 by 705. Those are spool nets, but I haven't used them. And then we have a foot. Which I'm not sure what that's for. Well, I don't know what exactly it does. And some tweezers and then a brush to clean. So yeah, uh, this is my first serger, yes. Um, I haven't, I mean, I've used one in the past. That was not mine, but this is my very first. And it's so sleek and like, it's just so nice. Like, I love it. I'm so used to like, and my mom had the old ones that had like the knobs and they were just such a pain. So I definitely didn't want to buy one with a knob. <laughs> Which is interesting. But yeah, do, do, uh, do you guys have sergers? Do you want to learn about sergers along with me? I probably will screw up, but I'm hoping that I can. Um, these would actually be, this would actually be great for the masks though. I just thought like when I was making the masks, it would be so much easier just to surge it quickly and then flip it and then top stitch with the regular sewing machine. So, yeah, <laughs> literally like a kid in a candy store. It's so funny because I asked my husband, I didn't ask him, but I was like, you know, I want to buy a, sewing, a serger. And he's like, don't you already have a sewing machine? And I said, yes, but I don't have a serger. And he's like, well, what's the difference? They're, they're all the same. I'm like, oh my God. But then he comes to me and he says um, he wants to buy a drill. He wanted to buy a uh, driver, like an impact driver. And I said, but you already have a drill. And he said, yeah, but it's different. And I said, no, it's still a drill. He's like, it does different stuff. I'm like, Serger does different stuff too. <laughs> uh, so then I bought it. And then I said, I was talking about it being sent in the mail. And he's like, wait, you bought that? And I was like, uh, yeah, I told you I was going to. <laughs> So that was fun. How would you love that when your husband just has no clue? But um, I I don't know what I should do now. I don't know. Maybe I'll just turn it on and see what happens. Thanks. Everyone needs a surgery, you're right. I think they're just really intimidating though for people. They are for me. It's like zippers. I didn't work with zippers for so long because I was so intimidated by them. And then after I did them, I was like, what was I so worried about? Alright, I got this It is so crinkled up. My other machine like makes a noise. Well, I guess I will start unspooling. And then you guys can laugh at me when I screw up something. Aw, that's awesome. Oh, I'm, I'm freezing up on my screen. Well, I would like to think that, you know, my fears, if I had someone to be like, it's no big deal, then I probably would have done things a lot sooner. But instead, you know, you built it up in your brain and you're like, ugh, it's gonna be so hard. 
I'm gonna have to, and then you think, and then you actually think about it. I went to the thrift store and I would buy old zippers, and then I wouldn't feel bad if I had to throw a whole zipper in the garbage. Okay. So. an idea operation manual does everybody want to read all the instructions let's start off with the danger no i'm kidding <laughs> can you imagine contents chapter one i'm just being silly okay so um i think is that what that is no this is optional features but i want to know what i have what did i get in my bag. Hmm. I don't know. What is that? Here. Can you see that? What is this foot? What is it for? This is terrifying. It's not on the picture, so I don't know. Oh well. Mm. So stitch length, stitch width. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be so hard. Adjusting the presser foot up here. Differential. They didn't teach us this stuff in school. Ah! Threading the lower loop. Okay. So you should thread, I'm assuming, from right to left, because that's where we're going. Can someone confirm that? This side, this side to this side? The thread feels different. Is it different? <laughs> oh gosh. I see. One. No, I'm kidding. It's not done. Um, I don't even know. Oh my, oh my god. <sighs> Can anyone else feel me freaking out inside? How does it? Maybe I can tie it to this. No, I can't. How can I? Shall we try? I'm scared. It might work. Okay. I would like to know how to do it properly because I'm sure that this is not going to work every time. But I guess we'll find out together if this works. Okay, it's tied together. And then what? How do I... Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> this is not good. Okay, foot up. Oh! Okay. Okay. Hand crank. Oh. I just tried.
trying to find that thread that I need. Oh, it's coming down. Oh God. Okay. Should I do all the threads at the same time and not them all? Oh God. One. I guess we'll learn together if this works out. If not, um, I mean, I'll watch the video and everything, but I'm just so excited. Okay. This is what I'm going to do. <laughs> Everyone's probably like, wow, you have a sewing channel? Amateur. <laughs> Don't judge me, okay? All right. Let's take this. This is tied to this. I shouldn't have cranked it that I didn't give myself enough room. Now it's going to be difficult. <gasps> Having a hard time. Surger thread is hard. We can master it. That's okay. I will trust you. But right now I'm having my doubts. Okay. Here. Two. Hmm. I have a jigsaw and a router. So I get that. But I haven't used my router yet. And I don't love my jigsaw. <laughs> I gave myself even less room here. Okay. All right, there. And then this one. Does anyone have this machine though? Because I don't see anyone with this machine. I've seen a picture of this machine, but it was not called the 60, 655. So I don't know if Costco just changed the name. Okay. Hopefully that is good enough. All four. All right, let's go. Am I doing it the right way? Okay, I see more coming. I think it's tangled. Wait. This is bad. Oh, towards me. 
the oh no 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 shoot this is embarrassing <laughs> okay okay why was i doing it the other way oh man See, this is why I did this live, because I would be alone right now, crying. Okay. I definitely screwed some up. Interesting. Oh, okay. I think. Am I wrecking the machine right now? Keep going. is messing up because I see the right thread in one of them. So it's that one. But the other ones. Okay. I had to do it. I have three out of four, which ain't that bad. So which one goes through that needle that goes like this, you know, I think it's that one, right? No. Yes. In the diagram, the curve, the needle is not curved. This one, let's number that one. Ah, number three. Yeah. That one. Okay, I see. I see. I see, said the blind man. Okay. Does it go in this way? Yeah, I'm assuming it goes in that way, right? Mm. Oh my. Okay, there we go. I think that's good. And then that one was never thread into the second needle. So I guess that method is okay. Has to go under the presser foot, right? Oh dear. But then there's that cutter thing. I think that's the cutter thing. Or does it need to go? Is it like a uh, regular sewing machine that you have to tuck all the threads in? Don't you hate this? All right, try again. My eyes are starting to go cross-eyed. Because there's two needles. So it's messed me up. Okay, there you go. <gasps> Yay. Oh no. And it wrapped around the needle.
Okay. All right. I'm drawn under. Okay. All right. That's good. Now that one. Oh. There's a, there is a straight needle. Which is should be number four then. There's two needles that go down. Curved needle and then a straight needle. And like how is there so who thinks of this stuff? This is what I want to know. Like who is smart enough? I'm I'm super excited, but right now I don't know if I would be jealous. Cause I don't know what I'm doing. And I'm Slightly terrified that I'm gonna mess it up. I'm a, I'm hoping that these are robust machines that can take a beating. Okay, there we go. That's why they give you those what you might call it tweezers to help you. Okay, let's put that back there. I think I don't know. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's get our test fabric. And then <gasps> Nope. Didn't work. Towards me. <laughs> uh. Oh, what's that? It's so funny. They're like, message retract. Oh, we. Oh, okay. Look under four threads in the book and it's just, yeah. I think I'm just going to stop while I'm ahead and then do the un Aries thing, which is this is the Aries thing. I'm an Aries, I like to just do it and not really think about it. And then you know, usually I end up breaking things during the process, so I need to do like the Virgo thing and like read it and then. You know, go from there. This, I ordered it on the 10th, I think. So, and then it was held. So luckily, it came. But it's still nice. I'm very excited. Look at, I love that it's actually burgundy. Because in the picture, it was all bright, like an ugly red. Oh yes. I'm gonna look at my look at it in the in the thing. It looks so good. Virgo here. Uh, yeah, my friend's a, a Virgo and she plans everything. So I'm sitting here like, let's just go buy all the things and then just try. And she's like, or we could plan it out and then figure out what we need and then go and buy. And I'm like, yeah, I guess. But I'm just so excited. <laughs> yeah, it's my first one. I've used my mom's, but it was an old Toyota. See, yeah, do you have like the 1034? This one has blue, green, pink, and orange, so. I just need to. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be fine. It'll be fine. I got a lot of time on my hands. I'm not allowed to leave the house, right? I do have the kids, though. They're watching the despicable me in the other room. <laughs> But anyways, I won't keep you guys any longer because I don't really have much else to say. 
other than look at my new baby and are you excited i will have some tutorials once i get established i don't want to go in and and screw up in my videos but um other than clothes which is what i mainly got it for like i need some ideas of other things that you can use it for I've been homeschooling my kids. <laughs> I have a Google Classroom that I have to do every day and then piano every day. And it's just like, I can't, I don't have any time. <laughs> it's funny when we took it for granted when we had it and now that we don't have the time when they're at school to do things, sucks. Yeah, pretty much four plus four. Mm -hmm. My kids are eight and six. Always make sure you have the foot down when sewing. It will. T oh, good tips. The, th the tread color guide in the the door that you had open. Yeah, it's a nine four. Oh. There's a little flat, oh, wait, is there something else in there? No. Oh man, I gotta look this up. I don't even know. I don't know what that little switchy thing is for down here. Do you see this? This little switchy thing? In the world where sewing is so important and so many people do it all over the world, I only have one friend who sews. <laughs> Isn't that amazing that there's just not that many people? <laughs> yeah. A lot of it is in a different language. I don't even know what language that is. Solo par los, I think that's Spanish. We have French. Oh yeah. Yeah, French. And, oh wow, what's that? The Netherlands? Impressive. <laughs> Hello. Okay, well, I'm going to get off now. So anyone who's just popping on, um, this will re-up, well, it'll upload within the hour. So you can see me unbox it, but don't watch the rest of the video because it was useless. It was me just pathetically trying to work with this thing. I just bought highlighters. Good idea. <laughs> they were on clearance for one dollar. Uh, oh gosh, and you know what I did today? I cut all my hair off. It was down here. I, I did it all by myself. And I, I put up a picture on Instagram because I'm crazy, but I was just so done. I've cut my kid's hair and I cut my husband's hair and I cut my hair because we can't go get our hair cut. So it's either I wait until this is all over, which who knows how long that will take, or just get rid of it because it's driving me, it was driving me nuts. So it's not too bad. It's not the best, but I went on YouTube and found tutorials on how to cut your own hair. <laughs> okay. All right, now I'm gonna grab the camera and it's gonna shake a bunch. So Thank you very much for tuning in and hopefully I can get a tutorial out. I want to do a regular tutorial very, very soon. And then we can just get back to our regular scheduled program. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye guys.